Woody's World is sponsored by Proudly. Sponsored by Shanahan Steakhouse. Welcome to my world where all the cotton candy and corn on the cob is free. The Broncos have started another mini camp. What else is new? <laughs> Every week there's something. Only this one is mandatory. What does that mean? Demarius Thomas now will be levied fines. Take me to the levy and levy me a fine. Did you ever hear yes. that song? So what else is going on? Both the Broncos and the DT camps are waiting on the Des Bryant. You know this. Everybody out there knows this. I'm telling you something you know. They're waiting for Des Bryant to sign in Dallas. When that happens, when Bryant signs, Demarius soon will follow. DT's agent is not a trendsetter. He's a sitter, backer, and waiter kind of rep. He waits. You know, if you follow his career, he waits around till other people sign. Then he goes in with his guy and goes, see what I got you? Nothing. You should, at some point, they should be negotiating. What about the others, though, that are out there? I got 15 people on my yes-no list. Yes or no. And I'm going to have him, I'm going to have Les, I forgot your name there for a moment, I'm going to have Les respond after we go through the commercials and everything. Let me start out with Capri Bibbs and Jeremy Stewart. And you, and you go, and you go. Uh, Jeremy Stewart. Jeremy Stewart yeah. and Capri Bibbs. Well, I'm hearing all, all sorts of other things because Woody's world doesn't matter to anybody in the world except me. It's why it's my world. Capri Bibbs and Jeremy Stewart. I don't think either one of them are going to make the team. I think that Capri Bibbs is on the cusp of being an NFL running back, but it's not going to happen here. Uh, Stewart came in kind of later last year. He was impressive, but I don't think either one of those running backs will make it here. So that's a no. Isaiah Burst, and a lot of you saying, is he still around? Yes, he ended up on the practice squad. And Isaiah Burst, don't move too fast today because I'm filling in blanks in between them. Isaiah Burst was the return guy who just wasn't very good. He's too small to be a wide receiver. They're just going to have him as camp fodder. What about the guy we keep talking about? <laughs> Joe Don Duncan. Or in Mexico, he's known as Jose Don Duncan. But I think he's going to make the team. We talk about if you look at his history, and at some point we'll go into it more and try to get him on the show, but he has worked, he is kind of like the key, Cleveland Cavaliers guard who came into the last game. What is his name? Della Vadova. Della Vadova. Uh, Joe Don Duncan has had a, had a career where he's just overachieved. He has proven people wrong. I think he's going to make this club as a super sub at tight end and at fullback and on special teams, I think he's going to be one of those gunners you see. Now let's turn to the quarterbacks, Zach Dysert and Trevor Simeon. Who's yes and who's no? Well, I have. you always have inside information. I talked to a coach for the Broncos just the other day, and I said, give me some information on Trevor Simeon. He said, really smart, Northwestern. And I said, really stupid, University of Tennessee. And he said, well, the other guy from Tennessee is really smart. But... <laughs> They really like Simeon, and that's the reason why I'm actually doing this today. They really like Simeon. They think he is really caught up to the system. They think it's right for him because you don't have, and I heard this and I, not, I had not known this, you don't have to do as many reads as you do in a lot of systems. That you, It's more of a read and react immediately. And so Simeon, I think, Zach Dysart has not jumped out. He just, when he's had his opportunities in the exhibition games, he's got to make the most of it. He hasn't done it. And he hasn't been so impressive in practice that they can't get rid of him. I, I think John Elway held a John loves his quarterbacks, but I think they've held on to him to see how he would develop. I think Simeon is the third quarterback. Of course, he's working 707. He's limited. He won't really be ready to go when the season starts, but I think he's a the guy they're going to keep as a number three guy. Ryan Harris, he was signed immediately in the wake of the Ryan Clady injury. Ryan Harris knows this system. He's played in it. He is a hard worker. He did start at a 15 games of the Chiefs last year. I think he has a legitimate chance to, to start at right tackle, but more importantly, I think even though they brought him in as an emergency, I think he's going to make this team. I hope next on my list is Ronnie Hillman. Uh, yeah, Ronnie Hillman uh, is not going to make this team. He is not going to make this team. He just doesn't fit in with what they're doing here. And if you think about it, they've got uh, Monte Ball. They've got, obviously, C.J. Anderson. Juwan Thompson is not being moved to fullback. 
So I think they're your three running backs, and that they're going to look at one of the younger guys filling that fourth spot. I think they're going to try and get a, one of those draft picks that is dependent on how he does for, for uh, Ronnie Hillman before training camps out. Gerald Rivers, outside linebacker. Why would I be concerned about whether he's going to make the team? I've got a great story here that none of you know. His name is Jerry Rivers. Well, guess who else's name was Jerry Rivers? Did you know this? Geraldo Rivera. When he was in college, there was a guy named Jerry Rivers. When he got on television, he changed his name to Geraldo Rivera because that was more Latino sounding than Jerry Rivers. Uh, I missed one there, Jordan Norwood. The wide receiver was maybe the most impressive wide receiver in camp last year that was not in the top four. And he got hurt, uh, tore his knee. He is right on target to come back. He bounced around a little bit before he got here. He's a little bit up there in age, but he's had experience. I think he's going to make this team. How about Brandon McManus? Connor Barth and Carl Schmidt. Who's going to make the team out of that bunch? I don't think McManus is going to make this team. I don't think the this group of uh, Broncos coaches are going to say we're going to keep two kickers. We we want a valuable special teams player. I think Connor Barth proved himself last year. I think he's going to be the kicker, but we're going to watch Smiths the whole time in training camp. Finally, Antonio <coughs> Smith and Kenny. Ananuki. Here's what's interesting. Ananuki is the guy that's got to replace Antonio Smith if he's brought back, and I don't think he's going to come back. I, I'm anxious to see if he was in the, in the camp today. He was not. I didn't think he would be. But oddly enough, Antonio Smith had really praised the qualities of Anuki. He had said, this kid is really something. Well, I've heard this from other coaches recently that they're not so concerned as we are that if Antonio Smith doesn't play there that they don't already have a guy there in a nookie who can go inside outside. So that's what I think. What about you? Yes or no? Do you think I'm right or wrong? Tweet me, Facebook me, email me, whatever. Speak up or shut up. I'm Woody Page and that's my opinion about 15 players that are in camp. This segment's been brought to you by Shanahan Steakhouse which is selected by the public as a best restaurant, whatever that means. I selected as a best restaurant in Denver. Great, great steakhouse. Those fillets are just to die for. It's Open Tables 2015 Diner's Choice winner, and there's a reason for that, because if you take everything into consideration, and I talk about it, the food, the service, the wine selection, Mark Steron, the managing general partner, the atmosphere there. Now with the weather that's good, you can sit out on the patio and have an incredible evening. Book your reservation today for ShanahanSteakhouse.com.